Welcome to the Renegade Health Boss Podcast, where we push the boundaries of what's possible in health and wellness. I'm your host, Heather Gray, a certified functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner and certified bioenergetic practitioner. And each week we dive deep into the world of physical, mental, spiritual health, biohacking, relationships. But we're not just talking about the basics. I'm bringing you conversations with the true renegades, experts who are challenging the status quo in their fields, breaking barriers, and uncovering the real truth behind what it takes to live an incredible, joy-filled, and optimized life. If you're ready to step out of the ordinary and step into a life of extraordinary health and happiness, you're in the right place. Let's get started on this journey to becoming your own renegade health boss. And before we jump in, let's hear a word from our sponsor. You're already empowering your patients to lead healthier, more vibrant lives. As a practitioner, you're at the forefront of extending their health span, promoting strength, vitality, and overall wellness. It all begins with the right support, trusted, high quality nutritional supplements. At MHP Vitamins, we provide premium, practitioner-grade supplements designed to support the unique needs of your patients. Whether they're fighting inflammation or boosting energy or enhancing immune function, our scientifically backed formula helps them thrive. As a trusted practitioner, your recommendations make a significant impact. At MHP Vitamins, we're committed to providing you with the tools to continue supporting your patients on their journey towards ideal health. The premium supplements are carefully formulated to target specific health concerns and deliver the essential nutrients your patients need to thrive. Dedicated to making sure your practice runs effortlessly by offering top tier customer care, same day shipping, and the efficacy of our new office and warehouse. Through our affiliate program, you can extend these benefits directly to your patients and provide them with trusted, high quality products while building a valuable partnership that supports both you, your patient's health span, and your practice. Join the growing community of health professionals who trust MHP Vitamins to empower their patient's health journey. Together, we can support wellness one patient at a time. Hey there. Hope you're all doing well. We're going to be talking about brain inflammation, mental health, menopause, mold brain. Like I still have to come up with a clever name. You know, I got the M&Ms, <laughs> you know, the moldy menopause brain. Oh my gosh. So many reasons why we're talking about this today. Uh, recently, you know, I had a dear, a, a friend, Beth O'Hara of uh, mass cell 360 committed suicide. Um, some of you might know my story. My uncle committed suicide when I was four. I've had multiple attempts. My son has had multiple attempts. So this is a topic that is very, 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 very personal to me. I know I'm brilliant. I know I'm funny and talented and creative and um, ah, this is a part of brain fog. I lose words. Please bear with me today. I know that I um, operated a very, very high level considering the health challenges that I've been through. And I still, there's always room for improvement. And I know that it can be really, really hard to want to speak out on certain things or talk about certain subjects uh, for fear of being, for lack of a better word, canceled, right? But what I was trying to say is that when I came out of the psych ward, when I was younger, it was really hard to be taken seriously. It was very easy to be dismissed as, you know, written off as someone crazy. So therefore not a valid person, right? Now you no longer have credibility in this world. You are, you're done. And that's bullshit because I still have a lot of credibility in this world Um, as I was explaining in a different podcast is that, you know, I operate these days about 90% amazing, 5% meh and 5%. I get kind of scary sometimes. And I still have those thoughts, especially because I'm in the middle of going through menopause and had a recent mold exposure that we'll talk about more. 
And those 5% where I am not doing so well, I don't feel like numbing myself out with prescriptions. The rest, you know, the 95% of the time is worth it. And I have enough tools and enough support to know that I'm not actually going to do anything. That When these thoughts pop up into my head, I have enough awareness uh, to be able to talk myself down for the most part. And thank God, my husband, if I can't, is knows kind of how to handle me, for lack of a better word. It can be really, really tough as a woman, especially a woman in business, um, to talk about these vulnerabilities because we are afraid that people will no longer take us seriously. Uh, do you know also how hard it is for me right now? So one of the, uh, there's a couple of symptoms that overlap with menopause and, and mold toxicity. And one of them is weight gain and it never, never fails. If I stay in a moldy hotel room, I will gain 10 pounds instantly within like two days. And so I had three incidences like that last year. And then this one now, and I've gained a total of 30 pounds in the past year. And it's been horrible. I have tried so many things to get this moldy weight off and it's not budging. I've tried changing my diet, changing supplements, changing the way I work out, like you name it, I, that I've done it. And trust me, you know, I've gained and lost over 150 pounds in my life. Like I typically know how to lose weight and this stuff isn't budging. And I've got new supplements coming that I haven't tried um, because this is a conversation I've had with a, quite a few other practitioners who are having the same exact problem that within, um, they're all around the same age as me. So they're all going through menopause and they've all been exposed to mold and this weight is not moving. So there's another uh, taboo, right? Like I really have a tough time being the overweight practitioner. Like it kills me to have anybody think that I'm not walk, walking my talk because my diet is cleaner than even the majority of the other practitioners I know. Do you know how I know? Because I go to all these damn health conferences and I'm still eating differently than they are. I'm still not drinking alcohol. I'm still not, you know, I go to bed at 10 o'clock, you know, you name it. Like I walk my talk more than anybody else that I know. And I, and, and, and like I said, it kills me because I don't look like other practitioners right now, especially in the biohacking field. Oh my God, it kills me to stand next to those people and have them think that in some way, shape or form, I'm unhealthy. And this body has had Lyme disease in it for over 30 years. This is my fifth round with mold. I've reversed two autoimmune diseases. So my body has had other priorities than losing weight. And I have to let go of what other people are going to think about me as a practitioner. Because I know in my heart that I am doing everything I possibly know how to do to overcome this stuff. And right now my body is like, you know what? I just, I need to be healthy and survive. Like we're not worried about losing weight right now. And I have to honor that. That's where it's at. That's where I'm at. One of the other common side effects uh, that both of them are, are is the brain fog. And I, I was talking about this on a post not too long ago that, you know, it's sad when we sprain our ankle, we know not to walk on our ankle until it heals, right? Some people still do and they'll re-injure themselves and they learn the hard way. You remember those old commercials where anytime anybody had a head injury, they always had the bandages around their head. Sometimes I feel like that's what I need to do to myself to remind others and myself that I actually have a brain injury right now, a legit brain injury. My brain is inflamed. It's been injured. And there's a lot of things that you can do to help heal it. But one of the best things that you can do is slow down. Screen time is the worst. The more you can stay off screens and all that stimulation through your eyes, the better. My job is online. So it's been really, really tough to overcome that. I maybe have about a good 30 minutes of work time in me a day these days. And if anybody, if you know me, <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a workaholic, but I definitely, I get a lot accomplished in a day. And so to only have an hour to two hours of total productive time a day, it hurts me. I feel like I'm falling behind. I feel like an imposter. I feel you name it, right? 
So that's been frustrating. And my brain, it's, it's, it's horrible. Like I try to go to a place and I can't, it's like, it's like a door is shut. And then I try to pivot and go somewhere else. And that door is shut. And then I finally, you know, that'll happen like three more times. And finally, I just have to give up and either pick a new word, you know, change the subject, go sit down, close my eyes, you know, do some somatic experiencing work, do things, some breath work to keep my nervous system calm down. But, you know, the brain fog with the menopause is, is almost no different. It's not like a brain injury, like what I'm dealing with now, but the cognitive issues, feeling like somebody has taken a fork and scrambled my brain, like, and then the hot flashes that are coming along with it, man, man, what a hot mess right now. It's uh, it is no bueno. So, you know, just the purpose of this is that there are a lot more people out there experiencing these menopausal type symptoms along with the mold, the brain fog, right? Suicidal thoughts, gut inflammation, brain inflammation. So what can you do to help overcome the stuff? One, I would go see your doctor or you can come, you know, give me a holler. I can run some labs for you. Let's look at your hormones. Although I'm not a hormone expert, so I typically do refer that out. Um, but I can run it if you just you know, want to see. When you're facing painful symptoms, a diagnosis of chronic Lyme or an autoimmune disease can be overwhelming to navigate. You already know mainstream medicine doesn't have the tools to support you. And often even alternative medicine can become a maze of options without sustained results. Modern living puts significant stress on our systems. To counter this, we need a holistic approach, utilizing the latest technology and guided by physicians with decades of clinical experience. This is biological medicine. The Biomed Center in Scottsdale, Arizona is one of the most comprehensive clinics in the world, incorporating the latest diagnostics available, such as full body MRIs, computer regulation thermography, heart rate variability, toxin screenings, and along with hormone and gut testing, they achieve the broadest look at all systems of the body. Customized protocols are developed by physicians who have treated thousands of patients in chronic disease by optimizing their biological performance. Save yourself years of suffering and searching with a visit to the Biomed Center, Scottsdale. The future of medicine is here. Imagine having an extra hour in your day. With Carol Bike, it's possible in just five minutes. You experience what hours of traditional cardio can't match thanks to scientifically engineered AI personalized workouts. It's not about working out longer. It's about working out smarter. Every session is tailored to your fitness level, making it perfect for anyone, regardless of age or ability. Say goodbye to guesswork and hello to precision with workouts that are scientifically proven to boost your health and fitness in 90% less time than regular cardio. Who doesn't want that? Less time working out? and still get the amazing benefits? Yes, please. Scientifically proven to reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes by 62%, lower blood pressure by 5% with just three short workouts a week. Feel the benefits of Carol Bike for yourself, risk-free for 100 days. And if it's not for you, return it and get a full refund. Carol Bike is more than a time saver, it's a life enhancer. Make sure to go to carolbike.com, that's C-A-R-O-L, bike.com, and use coupon code R-H-B to receive $100 off. Make sure to take the next step in your healing journey with your Carol Bike. You know, for me, my progesterone was getting kind of low and I was looking a little estrogen dominant. And so I started taking progesterone in the morning as well in the evening. And man, what a game changer that's been. I've been supporting my liver a little bit more with coffee enemas. That's also a great detox hack for mold. So coffee enemas uh, with castor oil packs, um, skin brushing, my sauna. So all the stuff that I was kind of doing on a regular basis, but doing more frequently. Um, what else? Um, oh, Vitex, which is a supplement as well as maca. So I've been taking those to help balance out the hormones and balance out some of the hot flashes and the other symptoms that come along with menopause sometimes. Also, you might notice I'm wearing two Nikki's. So one of them has, um, and I, I shouldn't say this, I don't think it's out to public yet. They've got a female wellness um, suite. So I'm running that over here. And then over here, I'm running detox and I'm running mold and I'm running inflammation and I'm running 
emotions because they've been all over the place. So I, uh, I, I, these guys I'm totally swearing by, I love my Nikki's. I'll make sure to put that in the show notes. What else? Oh, uh, Cyto detox for the brain. Uh, detoxing the mold out of the brain has been amazing. Uh, glutathione, high doses of fish oil, somatic experiencing work. I actually teach quite a few of these exercises in my course, the foundations of health course. You guys, like, it is so bizarre to me. I put this course out for free a couple years ago because I just wanted to give something back to humanity. There's so many people I was working with that had no money whatsoever. And so I was like, I'm just going to give this course for free. 150 people signed up. Guess how many put people took the course. None, not one. So what does that tell me? Okay. Just like myself, sometimes people need a little skin in the game, right? So it was higher cost. Now I've dropped it down. I think with the code fast action, I think you can get it for like $67, but it's basically everything that I did do on a, on a, on a daily, weekly basis um, to heal. And it was because of these strategies that I already had in place, I, I think is why I have fared so well during this. Like it's been bad. Trust me. I've had my really dark nights. I've done nothing but cry. I've had my moments, but I know that it could be 10 times worse. And I know that it's not worse because of the things that I've done to set myself up for success to begin with. Little things, right? Little steps add up to big wins. And so I know a lot of folks can get kind of overwhelmed in the beginning, but you know, if you just take little, again, little bite-sized pieces this month, I'm going to start doing this and this. And then next month I'm going to start doing this and this. And then by the time a year goes by, you can look back at that year and go, wow, holy cow. I cannot believe I'm implementing all these new changes in my life. And wow, look at how amazing my health is, you know? So highly, 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 highly recommend checking out the foundations of health only if you want to get better. I mean, if you don't want to get better and you want to continue to complain and be the victim and say, nobody understands what you're going through. And I've already been to all these doctors. I've already been to all these things. Then, you know, by all means, you know, don't, don't take the course, only take the course. If you're serious about getting better, because there's easily two decades worth of, 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 of education and nuggets from my own personal experience, plus my own continuing education as a functional diagnostic nutrition practitioner, uh, advanced certification of mold, Lyme, somatic work, like the list goes on and on because I'm a bit of a type A personality, but they're easy to use, watch videos and they're yours that you get to keep. So if you're in the middle of brain fog right now and you're like, what did she say about, you can go back. It also has my free cooking series on there. And it's not just recipes. It's why and how you should cook in the kitchen because they're actually, the kitchen is like one of the highest toxic areas there can be because sadly we've just, we've lost our way. So many toxins in our pans, in our cookware, in our food. And so it's explaining to you on, on why using certain tools or certain food, you know, why grass fed, grass finished beef over confinement beef, you know, why wild caught salmon instead of farm caught salmon, you know, so it's really the ins and outs of the kitchen, not just recipes. The recipes are kind of a byproduct, but it's more continuing education because the more that you know, right, then you can empower yourself to make better decisions going forward. Because right now you don't know what you don't know. And that could be silently killing you. So, you know, take a course like mine, very inexpensive. It'll take you like a month or two to get through. It's not that long. And it, like I said, it really breaks down how easy and some of these things that you can do to support yourself. And, you know, I talk mostly about women because that's my experience. And I also know that men um, also go through a sort of menopause and they've been gaslit to not talk about their emotions or show weakness or vulnerability either. You know, so we need to just start having more open conversations about mental health. We talk about our freaking, like I said, I fractured my ankle with no, oh my God, she can't walk straight ever again. We can't count on Heather because she has sprained her ankle. No, that's bullshit. It's no different now that I have a brain injury. My brain injury will heal and I will be back to Heather 5.0 at this point. 
you know, so we need to have these conversations. You need to know that you're not alone, that you're not some screwed up weird freak. You know, unfortunately, this lifestyle is not conducive to human health. And that's part of the reason why I talk about the things that I do is to help break things back down and get back to the basics, right? So many people waste so much freaking money chasing these ridiculously expensive, crazy ass, you know, uh, treatments when so much magic happens when you get back to the foundations. So I highly hope that you'll look into that and please, please, please do me a favor. If you've enjoyed any of the podcasts that I've put out, please leave a review and make sure to share and like, and subscribe it. You know, it's, it's been tough growing this. It's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And I'm kind of getting to a weird pivotal point again, where if things don't change, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to, to put these out just realistically. So you can help me continuing to spread the word on these conversations that aren't these tough conversations that are taboo that a lot of people are talking about right now, you know, by leaving a review, by sharing, by subscribing, please help me help you help the world because we need to stop the suffering. I don't know what happened with Beth. And I can't help wonder if it wasn't, if it was a safer place for us to express the challenges we're going through, if she still would have done what she did. I know the reason I don't do what my brain is telling me to do is because of the support and the outlets I have and the people I can talk to. And I've also been on the opposite end of that where I've brought something up in a business group and they've turned on me. So I get it. I absolutely get it. Know that you're loved know that you're here for a reason. There's no mistake. <sighs> the struggle is real. Be kind to one another. Stay tuned. And as always, if you were inspired by anything that you heard on today's show, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. That's the only way that we help change people's lives and get this information out into the world so that change can begin one person at a time, the way that it did with me and changed my life so many years ago. Make sure to, right, if you really want to start changing your life, it starts with your diet. It starts with what's on the end of your fork. And if you want to start making changes, go to my website, www.renegadehealthboss, R-E-N-E-G-A-D-E, health, H-E-A-L-T-H-B-O-S-S dot com. And download, download your free ebook, your free cooking guide, Real Cooking to Real Life. And in there, you'll also find links to the videos. Don't just learn what to eat, but why, right? Don't just learn how to cook, but the reasonings behind I, why I use some of the tools that I do, the toxins. You've got to lower your toxic burden, and we can do that in the kitchen and with what you eat. So make sure that you pick up that free resource. It's amazing. And while we're at it, we got to do a little disclaimer. Anything that you hear on this show is for entertainment value only. You cannot hold Heather Gray, The Lime Boss, Discovering Health LLC, or Renegade Health Boss liable for any damages that may have occurred while you have tried something that you've heard on the show. The show also contains affiliate sponsorship and paid advertising. Just a heads up. But to also know that no advertising gets on here without my approval first. It's usually products that I have tried and have my stamp of approval on it. So never fear when it comes to that. Um, but yes, cannot hold me liable. Do not, you know, this is for educational purposes only. Please make sure that you talk to your doctor before making any medical changes. And God bless. Stay tuned.